What's up, YouTube? Me, Jack Asian, posting a Car5 Vanguard deck profile of one of my f favorite fun decks, Bermuda Triangle. It's definitely um, not 100% complete, but uh, with what I've got, very close and very fun to play, and I consider it fairly consistent. And let's get down to the profile. All right, let's start off this deck profile with the starting Vanguard. We have one Weddle. Basically, once Red she'll fall back to Rear Guard, and you, later on you can put it back into the soul to bounce a car, a Rear Guard from the field back to your hand. The whole deck is based off bouncing rear guards uh, to either reuse their effects or to draw cards. So having her as a starting vanguard, you can help get easy pluses or reuse effects quite easily. So yeah, good starting vanguard. Next, for the trigger lineup, we have four heal triggers. Kind of, you know, semi-staple for most decks, especially for this deck that tends to take damage kind of easily. And then we have seven draw triggers. I run 7 because I find 7 to be the perfect number for me and the strategy I decided to choose. <clears throat> I don't know why I chose 7 over 8, probably because I saw some other decks run 7. So I've decided not to do the same thing. And then I run 5 critical triggers. I prefer the critical triggers over the stand triggers because I try to do as much damage as possible quickly. Because this deck, even though it's consistent, it does tend to lose a little bit of steam. So hopefully the critical triggers will kind of hit early on in the game. Alright, <clears throat> going on to grade 1s, we have the normal AK 1 drop, kind of semi-staple for the time being. Then I have this one, basically 7,000, and once you call it to call it a Rider Vanguard Rear Guard, you get a Soul Charger card. <clears throat> a lot of cards in this, or a few of the cards in the deck, rely on you to Soul Blast cards, so having a, a card that will Soul Charge will help... Uh, Will help you keep uh, using their effects again later on, especially with the bouncing. So keeping your soul kind of full, having cards in there will help out. And then I run perfect shields. I only run two because uh, Kaiwa Tori has the other two. I would run four if I was playing competitively, but two keeps the deck fun, so I can use more effects more of the time. All right. And then for the last of the graded ones, I won uh, Pearl. Basically, her effect is uh, to add a, an effect to the grade 2, which is this one I'll talk about in a minute. Basically, add an effect to her that when she boosts the, or when she adds the effect to the grade 2, the grade 2 will soul charge and draw a card. Which doesn't seem like much, it seems like a lot, but then you gotta get, when we get to the grade 2, this one, you realize that you can do a very nice combo with it. Because her effect is that. When her attack hits a vanguard, you can soul blast one card to bounce a card. So basically, if her attack hits with you playing this card, you can bounce this card back to your hand and use it next turn to do the effect to draw cards again. That's the, a small combo with this deck. But not only can you bounce uh, the grade 1 pearl, you can also bounce this card, the grade 2 Rhea, which is my favorite card in the deck. Basically, once she's bounced back from rear guard to your hand, you can counter or uh, soul charge counter blast and draw a card which also you can combo with the starting vanguard to help draw cards as well so this if you can get two of these on the field you can get pluses early game or later game just to help make the blocking for the decks easier and then to finish off the grade twos we run aqua the 10k All right going on to grade threes let's go to the main vanguard we have bermuda princess lena Basically, probably the best card in the deck. Uh, once written on Vanguard, she will bounce all your rear guards back to your hand, so you can reuse their effects, such as Real and Pearl, Perla, the um, Grade 1 7000 Soul Charge, the uh, Feluca. And also, if you have four rear guards, you get to boost the, uh, this card by 3000. So basically, even though you have no rear guards, you just get to play them again. And if you have another one in your hand, you can bounce again, reuse their effects, and play them again. So this is a very good um, main vanguard. To this backup vanguard, we have um, Flores. Flores, which is like just as good a card. You can you can use her on, as rear guard as well, which makes her really nice. If her attack happens to hit a vanguard or a rear guard, you can uh, soul blast to uh, pop a card or pop a rear guard back to your hand to use their effects again. So you'd have like a two drop the either the Perla or the Rhea attack first. If you have her as a rear guard, you would have her attack, and then you use her to attack, and then you bounce uh, Rio back to your hand. So 
her, even though she's not as good as Lena, her uh, effect is um, every time she hits instead of just being caught on rear guard. So, <clears throat> she's definitely a good backup vanguard. Or rear guard. Grade 3. So, yeah, that's the deck. Very good. Uh, if, if I would have to make a recommendation, definitely if you can put four perfect shields. But playing it at two is a, like tons of fun. And people. F and even Kaiyu Tor says that this deck is even much better than the chain ride build. Right. Which one is the best uh, Bermuda Triangle deck? Yeah. The, the, the what? <laughs> and and what deck did you play before this? Yes. <laughs> Alright, All right. just making sure. So, yeah, there goes my deck profile. If you have any questions or anything you want to say, suggestions, just comment below. Maybe later on I'll probably post more deck profiles. I've got um, Angel Feathers built. <clears throat> And I'll probably do deck profile that out later. Alright, thanks. Bye.